بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سورة الناس أمدا من سورة for the uh, same reason we mentioned in Surah Al-Falaq is that because it was um, uh, along with Surah Al-Falaq uh, revealed uh, after the Prophet Sallallahu had uh, married Aisha and this happened in Medina and therefore it is a Madan in Surah. Its name is Al-Nas or Qul A'udhu Bi Rabbi nas or coupled with Al-Falaq Al-Mu'awidatan. It was revealed after Al-Ikhlas and before Surah Al-Falaq and the, see, the reason for revelation of the Surah is the same revelation reason for Surah Al-Falaq because they were both revealed as a, a cure for the Prophet Sallallahu uh, when he was uh, bewitched Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah Azza wa Jal says Qul a'udhu bi Rabbi nas Say I seek refuge in the Lord of mankind of or people Malikin nas the sovereign of mankind. Ilahin nas, the true God of mankind. So Allah is instructing to seek refuge and then he listed qualities, attributes of himself subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabb. Rabb is the one who reforms, take care of and facilitates the affairs of his slaves. Malik, the sovereign, is the one who totally possesses their affairs and has complete control over them. While Ilah is the one whom mankind submit with humbleness and humility to him, with servitude and obedience, because, because he is the one who created them and showered them with his favors. So Allah Azza wa is instructing Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and instructing us uh, to seek refuge in him. And then he mentioned these qualities. These qualities when you're seeking refuge in someone who possesses these qualities, your heart is reassured. One who controls, one who creates, one who guards, one who takes care of, uh, of you, one who provides, one who's worshipped, one to whom everyone submits, whom every, everyone needs and he is not in need of anyone. When you know that you're being protected, your refuge is in someone this magnificent, then you're, assu you're reassured. You're calm and relaxed. You know things are going to be done, taken care of. Min sharri al-waswas al-khannas. Now, min sharri al-waswas al-khannas is related or connected directly to qul a'udhu. So, say I seek refuge in the, the, the one who possesses these qualities, al-rabb, al-malik, al-ilah, from the evil of the retreating whisperer. Uh, the retreating whisperer, of course, is referring to a shaitan. See, shaitan does not have a mission that ends. He gives up or he takes a break. He takes a paid vacation at the end of the year or he has casual leaves or ill uh, days or sick days off. No, no, shaitan is working 24-7 until the day of judgment. So don't think you can relax. <laughs> Subhanallah, if, if he relaxes, we would, we would take a break. But he doesn't. He continuously whispers. Now, a whisper, as it was described by the scholars, is a concealed sound he sends to your heart and mind. It's not something you see or feel physically, 
tangibly. Like Allah Azza wa Jal said in the Quran in Surah Ibrahim, وَمَا كَانَ لِي عَلَيْكُمْ مِنْ سُلْطَانٍ إِلَّا أَنْ دَعَوْتُكُمْ فَاسْتَجَبْتُ بِلِي I had no control over you. This is going to be said on the Day of Judgment. Shaitan is going to say this to everyone on the Day of Judgment. Who defends himself that Shaitan is the one who lured him to do that. Shaitan is going to say, I had no control over you. All I did was call you. I whispered and you listened. So blame me not and blame yourselves. I cannot rescue you, nor can you rescue me. Done deal. Whoever is destined to hell is going to go to hell. No justifications, no excuses, no turning back. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is reported by Al Imam Muslim everyone has a companion, a devil companion, and an angel companion. Every person. The companion said, even you, O Messenger of Allah, even you, you have a companion as a devil. He said, even myself. However, Allah Azza wa Jal helped me and he became Muslim. So he does not call me to do anything but good. But that's an exceptional case only for Muhammad Wasallam. Mine and yours is, is a kafir. And he does only one thing, or his mission is only one thing, to see me and you with him in hell. So he will only whisper immorality and evil and disbelief and doubts, grief and sadness. All of that is the work of shaitan. Ibn al-Qayyim said, the, the devil works hard to sadden the believer, to make him feel anxious and grieved and scared why because in this state faith is down your guards are down so he can attack al khannas retreating now this quality of the devil uh, has two two things here number one is that it reflects that he is hiding. He is prepared, waiting for the proper opportunity to attack me and you. Now, his attack is whispering, right? The second thing that it reflects is that he is weak. A lot of people over-exaggerate the ability of the, the, de of the devil of shaitan and jan they they give them a lot more than what they deserve this al khannas retreating reflects that he is evil he is uh, weak but with a certain type of people those who are strong but by means of what? By means of Quran and Dhikr. Those who shield themselves with adhkar repeatedly, daily, morning, even before you go to bed, when you wake up to bed, before you eat, after you eat, before you undress, after you dress, before you leave, after you leave the home, when you enter the masjid. The entire day is protected with adhkar. He is weak with such people. He has no way, way of penetrating. This believer has fortresses after fortresses, shields after shields, preventing the devil from shooting arrows at his heart. And this is what al khannas reflects here. Now this quality... Uh, motivates the believer and it strengthens his morale in his battle with the shaitan the battle of shaitan is a long battle as we said it started from the time of our father adam alayhi salatu wasalam and it won't end as we said until me me and you die and for him until the day of judgment because after me and you die there are others whom he wants to lead astray 
The, the story does not end with the people who are attending this class, you know. الَّذِي يُوَسْوِسُ فِي صُدُورِ النَّاسِ Who whispers evil into the breasts or hearts of mankind. Now this is a further explanation of this الْوَسْوَاسِ الْخَنَّاسِ And that his whispering, the place of the whispering is the heart, uh, because it's concealed, it's hidden. No one sees what, what goes into the heart and what comes out of the heart except Allah Azza wa Jal. So it's hidden except for the one who's ready for the battle, who's ready for the fight with shaitan. As we said, we have people who have their guards up. They're ready, they're prepared for the battle with shaitan. How? Strengthening their faith. How? Punctual on their uh, adhkar, persistent on Quran, and this shields them from the attacks, the hidden attacks of uh, the devil on the hearts of people. Min al jinnati wa nas from amongst the jinn and mankind. Now again, this is also a further explanation of al waswas al khannas. The verse before that explained where his whispering happens. This verse is explaining types of devils. We have two types of devils as per this ayah. From Jan, min al jinnah from the jinn. And from that, we have human devils. We have human devils. There are human devils that are worse than the shaitan. An exaggerated term, of course. That's why an evil companion is someone that's destructive for the believer. That's why the Prophet ﷺ said, المرء على دين خليله فلينظر أحدكم من يخالط. A person will be upon the faith of the one whom he keeps company with, so be selective of those whom you keep company with, whom you mix with. Because if it was evil, as described by the Prophet ﷺ, he will either harm you, as the blacksmith, he said, you will either smell something bad, or he will burn your garment with the, with the fire that he uses. And this is an evil companion. He will either lead you astray or weaken your heart, make you ready to go astray. So Allah here is telling us that these are two types of devils that whisper from humans and from jinn. But Allah Azza wa started with jinn in the verse, min al-jinnati, before nas, because jinn themselves are hidden. And since whispering is something that's hitting, so it, uh, Allah Azza wa started with it as it is the uh, principle. Now, as we said, Allah Azza wa informed us, Inna shaytana lakum adu. The devil is an enemy of yours. Fattakhiduhu aduwa. He is openly saying, I'm your enemy, so you take him as an enemy. Don't deal with him as someone who cares for you. Who's concerned about your well-being. MashaAllah, I have a good devil. There is no such a thing. Regardless of how much he decorates that evil. He will come to you and say, oh, Talk to this sister, MashaAllah, out of da'wah. So this is a way of decorating the first step of evil, which could end up with zina. But he's not going to start up saying, go commit zina. I'll just talk to her, call her to wear proper hijab or call her to Islam if she's a non-Muslim. And then next step, and then you start laughing and then you date and then... So... There is no such thing as a, a good whisper of the devil. There, nothing but evil. Nothing but misguidance. The Prophet ﷺ said, and this is reported by Al-Hakim in his Mustadrak and reported and classified as authentic by Al-Bani. He said, and this is, this is going to explain to us what we have said already. He said, the devil is sitting or lying on the heart of the son of Adam. 
As soon as he becomes heedless, he will whisper to him. But when he once mentions Allah, says dhikr, now this is whether in the form of Quran, dua, or just normal adhkar, what happens? He retreats. Khanasa, he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَإِذَا ذَكَرَ اللَّهَ خَنَسْ When the believer mentions Allah, he retreats, he's defeated, he hides. Why? Because he cannot. He has no power against this strong, powerful tool or weapon. It's a lethal weapon for him. It destroys him. Adhkar destroy the devils. From jinn and from ins. So the surah described our enemy, Al Waswas, who whispers and retreats. And then his his task is to Yuwaswasufi Sudurinas to whisper evil into the hearts of people, and then the types of enemies they're either jinn or uh, mankind and this is just to make us prepared for this battle with the shaitan know the nature of the battle the nature of the enemy and therefore we'll be prepared and uh, raise our guards uh, this concludes surah al nas we ask allah's protection against all evil uh, and we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to enable us to follow into the footsteps of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa akhir da'wana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Subhanakallah, alhamdulillah, ashadu an la ilaha illa anta.